Hi there, hard workers and night owls. Today we're going to be taking a look at Byers LED work lights. Now we mounted these on our platform rack up here, but Byers also has light mounts that are available so you can mount them on your camper or RV. These 15 LED floodlights produce 9,000 lumens of light. And the floodlight will ensure that it spreads to a wide area, but it also has an extremely long distance for a floodlight at nearly 700 feet. So this is gonna ensure you've got plenty of area that you're gonna be able to continue working through the night if you're using it for hard work or if you're putting it on your camper like our customer here to ensure you can keep on partying all the way till the sun comes up. So now we are in our shop and this is our long bay where we normally park the long 40 foot trailers and RVs. And I've got at least 20 foot of distance between the back of the trailer and our cameraman standing there. And you can see this whole work area is illuminated. So even though the lights may be out in the building, we can go ahead and continue working. So you can see here, this is what you're gonna get with your light. This is the bracket that comes included with it as well as the hardware here where it runs down. So you can see if you were to loosen this nut, you could swivel it as necessary. And if you were to loosen this one, you would be able to tilt it as necessary. We've already got them adjusted where our customer wants them, which gives him a huge spread across the back of his trailer. So he'll be able to see pretty much anything behind him when he parks it and camps for the night. This is just one. So if you want one on the other side, like we're showing off here, you will wanna make sure you pick up two. And we've mounted these on our customer's roof rack. And this is a strong, durable die cast housing on here. So anything that's gonna get thrown up here on this roof rack, taken off of it, bumps our light. It's not gonna be a big deal. It has a black powder coat finish on it to protect it against rust and corrosion. And if we look at the slots that run down the backside of our light, this casing actually acts as a heat sink as well to help dissipate heat away from our light to ensure that it can run for many hours without causing damage to itself. Now these lights, you'll also get about 18 inches of lead that comes off the light to wire it up. It's just two wires, power and ground. So you'll just have need to hook this to a power source. I highly recommend a switch source so you can turn them on and off as necessary. We've got a lot of different switch options available here at eTrailer, whether you're wanting just a single switch to operate all your lights, or if you're wanting a whole switch bank to operate multiple accessories and multiple lights. We're gonna be using Rhino Rex mounting bracket to help get our light mounted up. It does come with a bracket so we can get it mounted up and it's going to work right with our bracket that we had installed. This bracket's going to allow it to swivel as well as tilt. We're going to take the bolt that comes in the kit with the light, we're going to drop it down through. There's also a large bolt that comes in the kit, a very long one. This is going to line up, our bracket will line up with our light and the long bolt's going to slide all the way through. And then on the other side, we can follow that up with a lock washer and then a nut. And for now, we're just gonna leave these pretty loose so we can get our proper adjustment later. I'm just gonna kind of twist it up like this and then just hand tighten it for now. And that's good enough for now. We don't need to go crazy. We'll then take our light assembly. We're gonna drop it right down in to the hole. Our bolt fits perfectly inside the bracket that we had just installed. We can then follow that up with a lock washer and a nut. And I, this is why I really like this bracket being offset like this. It's just big enough that we're able to tighten down our hardware without any issues here. So that makes it really nice. Now at this point you can choose which position you want it to be on, whether you want it to angle straight off the back or slightly off to the side. We're gonna put just a slight side tilt to it. And then we're gonna tighten this down with a 17 millimeter wrench. Now we don't need to use anything on the upper part because our bracket actually has a couple of notches on it that holds our bolt in place while we tighten this down. Next we'll wanna choose the tilt for our light and we wanna give it just a slight downward angle. And we're gonna use a couple of 13 millimeter wrenches to snug down this hardware. Now that we've got our light fully tightened down, it's completely mounted. At this point, you'll just need to run wires to your light so you can get it operational. The light's pretty simple. It just has a power and a ground wire with red being positive and black being the negative. I highly recommend wiring this up to a switch so you can turn your lights on and off because if you wire it directly to the battery, the light's gonna be on the whole time. You'd have to turn off your disconnect switch or disconnect the battery in order to shut it off. We've got our black wire here hooked to a switched power source up front and our white wire is connected to ground. 
So we're gonna go ahead and first hook up our power source. So we're gonna strip both the black wire here, which is our power source that we had run. And then I like to strip a little more back off of what's here. Another thing that I also like to do to make it easier to wire is actually strip back some of this sheathing. So if you push your strippers over it like this, you can actually just strip off just some of the outer part there. And that'll expose the wires a little more, giving you a little bit more to work with, just like that. So then we're gonna take this red wire, since this is positive on our light, we're gonna strip just a little more back off this one. And then we're just gonna hook the two together using heat shrink butt connectors. We're using heat shrink because this is outside the vehicle and our camper, and we wanna make sure that no moisture can enter in and cause corrosion. We want a nice, long-lasting connection. You can get heat shrink butt connectors here at e-trailer if you need some. Then we'll take the lights positive wire, slide it into the other side of our butt connector, and then just crimp it down. We're then gonna do the same thing with our ground wire. And then we're gonna use our heat gun to shrink down our butt connectors. Now, like we had mentioned before, this wire goes to a switch that's inside so we can turn our lights on and off. If you need some extra wire, to get your lights mounted up. We sell that in various gauges here at e-trailer. And I'm gonna put some wire loom on it to make this look nice as well. And you can also pick up some wire loom here at e-trailer. It's gonna make it look nicer as well as protect it from any nicks and stuff. It's really important up here on this roof rack. Our customer's gonna be throwing stuff on and off of there all the time. And sometimes you're in a rush, you're not paying attention. So we wanna protect it to prevent any issues. Now that we've got it all wired up, I went ahead and put that loom on there and then zip tied it up along the bottom to make everything nice and neat and support our wires. I did make sure at the end where the light was to leave a little bit of slack at the end so that way there would be adjustment so they could tilt the light and move it as necessary. We route the wires from our light over to a power source and a ground source. The power source is right here. It's this black wire that's running here and it runs to a circuit breaker here. You do wanna have circuit protection on your light as close to the power source as possible. And this is just our switch panel. We've got power right here at the panel and we can turn our light on and off using the switch. The ground wire is right here and it just runs over to a ground stack that's located right inside. If you want a switch panel like this, you can pick one up here at e-trailer. It's got plenty of spots for different accessories so you can easily mount up your lights and have room for additional accessories in the future. And we made these connections using ring terminals and spade terminals. We use spade terminals, female ones, on the switch side to just slide onto the circuit breaker. And where we hooked it to ground, we just used a ring terminal so we could screw it right on to that stack over there. If you need ring terminals or spade terminals, you can add them to your cart. We've got them all available here at eTrailer. And that completes our look at Byers LED work lights.